Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! It's off to work we go with a whistle and a pick and a walking stick. Hi ho! Hi ho! That's beautiful. What's going on guys, it's CJ Gaming and boy do we have a big patch to go through today. The big one has dropped and oh wow, it is packed full of content, new locations, suppressors, attachments, it is one of the best patches that we've seen yet in terms of the full scale of stuff that's been added. So we're going to jump straight into it as always, if you've enjoyed this please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're going to try and hit 10 likes again on this video here. And if you want to skip ahead to the gameplay, then there will be coming up on the screen just now uh, content of timeline stamps where you can just skip ahead and see all the new content straight away. So these are the patch notes for today, which is the 7th of June. And the first thing that has been added in is the castle. So we're going to show you guys the new castle ruin location and we're going to let you know exactly what it looks like. But those are some screenshots there. Um, there's also attachments. This is the big one. This is the really big one that's came in. We're finally bringing in those silencers, sights and scopes to play with. So these are the improvised ones. You can make them in game and then you can then put them on. There's lots of improvised rails that you can now attach to weapons and there is a document that the devs have actually uploaded as well which will show you everything that is currently in the game and everything that is in progress so if it's red basically you cannot use it it's not in the game at the moment so you can see here that you've got three improvised rails you now have two improvised scopes and we have additional scopes and sights for various weapons the one which stands out at the bottom left was the long awaited one for the m1 you now have improvised silencers so you can get these from water bottles, you can get them from juice bottles, you can get them from cans, any kind of can or anything like that you can use them and they come in different colours as well. And we have four silencers for the M82, I will warn you, the silencers are absolutely huge. The M82 is already really big, um, so you're pretty much just going to be holding a gun and a silencer which is the length of you as well. Uh, and as you can see here there's various suppressors with the left two being a special suppressor for the M1 and a flash muzzle for the M1 as well. This is a document here, it tells you all the guns that are in the game, anything that is in red basically means that it is not in the game yet. As you can see here there's an M9 on the barrel flashlight so they are working on bringing flashlights into the game so that's going to be really nice. And there's this interesting section here, other. I wonder, I wonder what that could be. But there's lots of sights and stuff now that you can put on the guns. So the devs have been really, really hard at work in the background. Um, so there is a lot of content, a lot of content. This could have probably just been the update in itself, but they've been really, really kind to us. Statistics are now in the game as well. Some people like to keep track of their numbers and we have now got you covered. So you get your metabolism, you get your player statistics, uh, which will range from your crafting, combat, just general... Um, statistics on kills, stuff like that. Um, there's loads of stuff in here. Um, and as usual, it is early access, so if you do find any bugs with it, make sure that you report it on the Steam discussion page or jump into the devs Discord or Reddit. Uh, either way, it will get picked up. Moving on to archery, so they have now added in a feature with the toolbox where you can adjust the draw weight. So that will basically compensate and go to your skill or strength level. And there's some additional bug fixes here. We're not going to go through all of these, but we'll just read through a couple. Uh, prisoners no longer given prison clothes after spawning an event. Fixed the bug where you couldn't craft an improvised sword with improvised rope. Fixed the bug where some holographic sites would display text. So that is a big one that's been about for a little while, so it's good that that's now gone. Fixed the bug where character would get stuck while searching in a non-existent bush. I can't say that I have come across that. Fixed the bug if you have a gun with optics equipped and look through the scope and after that switch to binoculars. I've got to wonder how some of these people find these bugs. Really crazy. Uh, we also have the bonus round, alright? So if you guys haven't worked out some of this, um, then I will show you a couple of these in-game. But this one here, this relates to some of the stuff that is now in the game, especially with making the attachments. So I will show you guys exactly how that how that goes. Quality of life additions. Change damage to horse and bear from projectile weapons. It now takes less to kill them. So for all you avid hunters out there, you now have an even bigger incentive to use your bow and arrow because it won't take as much. Return six pocket slots to the improvised jacket. Canned food can now say sealed or empty when checking check taste actions. So that's good. They've upped the loot. 
that the cargo drop gives you. So that's extra motivation for you guys to go in and battle it out and try and get those. Added the option to leave team from circular menu actions. So that is a really good one. Except um, That means you don't have to basically wait for somebody to remove you from the squad. Optimizations, asset fixes. Hitting the neck bone is now considered a headshot. Corrected aim down to sight centre on several rifles and attachments. Corrected ammo count and ammo box for the .50 BMG. Fixed character animation and the character creation screen. Added new animations for the compound bow, new bow, new bow icons, tweet underground ambience, audio transitions, tweet foot step loudness. And as always, we now have edition 11 of the comic. So that's it for this patch. We're going to jump straight into the gameplay. Alright guys, so let's get straight into the gameplay for this week's patch. So when you first spawn in and you go into your crafting menu, you're going to notice that you have a lot of new stuff here down at the bottom. So you're going to have your improvised scope, your improvised rails, and you're going to also have these improvised can suppressors and water bottle suppressors. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make these rails here. Um, what we need to do is we need to find one of these buildings, because you're going to need to have a drill press or a lathe machine. So these can be found in these types of buildings here. Now all you need to do is go up to either the drill press or the lathe machine and basically you're going to choose which one you want to craft. Now this one requires one scrap metal and then one of these machines and for your improvised rifle rail which is for the little bit more high powered ones uh, you're going to need to get some bolts or nails as well. So we're just going to make this short improvised rail. And once you've crafted it, it's just going to fall onto the floor or it'll go into your inventory. Um, at the moment, it just keeps going into the vicinity. So we're going to pick this up and we're going to go outside here and we're going to tr try this on in the AK-47. So here's the AK here. I'm going to show you guys exactly the visual difference um, once we're looking down. So we're going to put on the RIS adapter first. So as you can see here, that's the RIS adapter. And then when we put on the short improvised rail, you can see here it's literally just this little thing here. Alright, this rail will then allow you to start putting on your scopes, which we're going to show you guys in depth in a little bit more um, time once we've went through the rest of this patch. Alright guys, so here we are. Here is the new ruins location that has now been added into the map. This is located in D2, if you haven't noticed. It's a small change, it's a little white road. I'll just move it away a little bit. You can see there that at the bottom it starts to roll out and then it comes over into these ruins here. So this is where it's located. I'll show you guys a little bit of footage above if this drone manages to catch up. And there we go. As you can see it's quite a large location. You are able to drive up to it. There's a number of, of things in here from boxes to cars um, and from what I've seen so far some of the, squad, uh, the quads do spawn in here as well so it's well worth checking out. For me though this is an ideal location to hold a team deathmatch even if it's on a private server, um, something like Storm the Castle, even an event like that. It looks absolutely amazing, the design's really really good. Um, and I'm expecting to see quite a lot of people round about here. If they put in some military loot, then that would be absolutely awesome. You would actually have more of a purpose to go in there. But this is the ruins. And now we're going to move on to some of the other stuff that's in today's patch. So one of the other big things that dropped this week was the implementation of statistics. Statistics are basically something a little bit extra that you can just make sure um, that you have a little bit of fun with it. You can you can track your deaths, your doors claimed, stuff like that. There's so much stuff here and it seems to be working as intended. However, if you notice any bugs with it again, just make sure that you report it straight away so that the devs can get to this. So you have everything from your general, food, you're hunting, so all your you hunters out there, you now have a lot more ways to track exactly what you've been doing in the game. Your travel, your distance travel in total by foot and vehicle, distance travel, swimming, um, items picked up, just all of that stuff. Um, you now have your metabolism, so how many times you've shot yourself basically. Diseases contracted, that's quite interesting. Total defecate, defecate, defecations, I've probably just murdered that. Urinations, vomits starvation and wounds patched. You also have your crafting section here. We haven't actually crafted anything. We're on single player at the moment. You have your combat. 
total shots fired, so you can track prisoner kills, puppets, so that's your players, players that you've knocked out through boxing, your KD, which is really good as well, that's actually quite interesting, headshots, and you can also track your events as well. So a really good little addition here, like I say, it may have some bugs to it, but everything looks good so far, so just make sure that you do report anything if you come across it. Another thing that was added and tweaked was a little section here on the archery. So this one took a little bit of working out for me. It did take us a few tries to see exactly how to do this. But if you look closely at the picture in the patch notes, basically, make sure that you have both of these highlighted, right? So you need to basically click both of them. If you have them in your hands or have them in your inventory, this won't work. Right click on this on your bow and then click adjust draw weight. So this will adjust the weight to suit your individual character's strength. We're actually already max strength on this anyway, so you'll notice that once we've done this, um, it does take one use of it. So that's just something when you find a compound bow and you don't quite have enough strength, you can use the toolbox to then adjust it. So another cool little feature to the work in progress, which is archery. So we've had a look at some of the basic crafting stuff that's now in the game in terms of the rails. Now we're going to have a look at all of the silencers that we have available to us in the game at the moment. So this is a hell of an update. There's so much content, there's so many new silencers, and we've also now got all of these optics. Some of the optics look absolutely sick so we're going to have a little look at all of them um, or as much as we can and we're going to show you the difference in sound between the silencers we're going to start off with the small one here uh, and we're going to bring the m9 we're going to load this up let's find the scope for it uh, sorry the suppressor so we've got the suppressor here so what we'll do actually is we'll just show you guys quickly the sound without the suppressor quite loud and now the sound with the suppressor. That sounds awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, let's get rid of this. But that is the M9 now with the suppressor. Now let's move on to some of the other stuff that we have. I'm going to show you guys the suppressor for the M82. So we have got the suppressor spawned in over here. Let's just stick this one on here. So we'll let you just quickly, okay, that suppressor just disappeared for some reason. Oh no, it went back in there. So we'll let you guys hear the sound without it. Pretty loud, right? Now let's try with the suppressor. There's a noticeable difference there. It does sound really good as well. Now let's have a look at something ridiculous. Look at the size of this gun. Look at the size of this gun. How are you meant to be sneaky when you're carrying this thing around? That is that is almost that's probably about six feet in length. That is incredible. So now let's go and have a look at some of the stuff for the sights. Now we have a lot of sights here, so we're just gonna load up this mag and then we're gonna have a look at some of these sights. Now at the moment it looks like some of the stuff actually stays on. So while we're checking this out, we'll just show you without. And then the first one that we'll try is gonna be the XPS go, uh, holographic sight, pretty similar to the V3 holographic sight that we have on at the moment. Um, so we'll take this off, see if it goes away. Yep, it did, so that's fine. And there's the V3, pretty similar, right? Now let's try the OKP holographic sight, that's pretty nice. And let's go on to the, is there one more that we've got to try? I'm sure there is another one. Desert Eagle, I think that actually might be it, let's have a look over here in case some of them aren't actually coming up, MRO site, yeah, there's an MRO one that we can put on, yep, there it is, this is pretty good, this is probably going to be my, my site of choice whenever we are in battle, I really like this one, it's nice and clear, and it looks awesome as well, so those are the sites that are now available in the game. Um, let's have a look at the suppressor for this. We do have it somewhere. Yep, there we go. So let's just fire it without. Okay, now let's fire it with. Just so you guys get to gauge the sound difference. That's That, that one and the M9 are probably my two favourite sounds. That is a really, really nice job. Now, there's also the improvised suppressors that we can use as well. So let's have a look over here. 
So you noticed that when we were showing you guys the crafting, you now have the option for the improvised can. So all you need there, you have a very variation of options, just cans, or you can get the uh, the beer cans as well. You need duct tape and you need one of your tools, just as you usually do. Knives will do it as well. Um, you also have these ones. Um, you have the oil filter. So you can just use a toolbox to get this one, and then you have your improvised bottle suppressors. These still sound pretty good as well. Um, so let's quickly try this on the MK18. We'll keep this on, and we'll try the oil can suppressor. And let's go and try the bottle as well. So. Pretty similar in sound, the, uh, from from the variations of the suppressor, they all pretty much sound the same once they're on the gun. And the animation obviously does show up on the back, so that looks pretty good as well. A really, really good update. There's just so much content. I was actually really surprised at how much um, attachments they released as well. Um, we will show you guys the SVD as well, but we do have to show you one more thing just before we go on to that, which is now the logs. So if you've noticed this, you now have the option to carry them. Now I wonder what this could be for. The logs are obviously going to be used for something that's coming to the game very soon. I'll let you guys work this out. But the animation, as you've seen at the start of the video, it's pretty cool. So you actually lift it up and then you housed it over your shoulder. So you can now run with these. You can't run at full sprint. It does take a little bit of your stamina away, as you'd obviously expect. And then if you punch something, it automatically drops. <laughs> Some of the bugs that have been reported with this one is that when you've carried a log, some of the players, when you put your gun back up, it kind of goes over your head. Um, it looks okay on your screen, however, on the other player's screen, it looks as if your, your gun is basically just going everywhere on top of your head. So let's jump into the suppressor for the SVD. Alright, so everybody should well be aware of the SVD. It has been in the game for a long time, and it's probably killed you at one point. So now it's getting even better, and it's going to get better for you and the enemy. So with the SVD, we now have the suppressor, uh, which is this one here. So we're going to have a look at shooting without the suppressor. Very familiar sound for me. And we're going to have a look at shooting with the suppressor. Quite a noticeable difference there. So the theory is, or what I have worked out so far, is that if you shoot anybody from away from 500 metres, then they shouldn't be able to hear you. If you're within 500 metres, then they should be able to hear you. It's pretty much as simple as that. So that is the attachments for the SVD. Now the big thing is the M1 has finally got some stuff and it's actually going to be worthwhile using. So these are the normal iron sights that you get on the gun. There is now experimental sights. So you can see here the difference. Okay, but that is not it. We've also got a suppressor for it as well, and a flash hider. So we're going to show you the improvised scope first. I believe I need to put this rail on. Yep, I do. And then we're going to show you the improvised scope. So instead of your normal scopes, with your improvised one, you now have the barb wire. The barb wire basically acts as your centre, your reticle, and you just go from there. Now, we have the M1 suppressor. That sounds really nice. Really, really nice. I don't know if the same 500 meter rule applies, however, I will need to double check. And then we've also got the flash hider. Alright, and just a little tip for everybody who uses the M1 and says that it's broken, you need to make sure that the chamber is completely done. You can't just take the clip out and it still has one chambered. In order to fully reload it, you need to make sure that it is completely empty and then you reload the gun. Now, we do also have the M1 scope, so we're going to show you guys this. And what I would do is see if I can attach it. I think I need to take the flash hider off and this rail because I'm assuming it goes on without it. Yep, it does. This is now the M1 scope. Pretty much like your Car 98K, um, and that's how it looks. That looks like we've covered all of the suppressors and the sights and attachments that we can for today's episode. Um, if you have enjoyed it, guys, this is probably going to be one of our last videos. However, I'm working extremely hard to get some content pre-scheduled for release. We are going on holiday. We go on Sunday, so we're going to be away for three weeks. There will definitely be no streams, so please stick with the channel. Uh, there will be videos uploaded regularly. I'll try and do it at least once a week while we are away. 
but please stick with us, we've just got over 1k so the competition video will be coming out for that very very shortly as well and it will have all the details in there on how to register for the competition where we're going to have a couple of copies of Scum up for grabs and potentially a voucher for our console subscribers as well. That's it for this week's video guys, I'll see you next time.